Hello everyone, this is Benito, the teddy bear of Southern Soul, or you can call me Zaddy. <laughs> Check this out, we got another episode of the Untold MC Hammer Tour Stories. That's right, today we're going to be talking about Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube, yay, yay. Okay, the story starts like this. We were in Hollywood uh, for about a month, I believe it was, staying at the Universal Sheridan over there for Lancashire. And um, we was in the room and everything, chilling with Hammer. We got a phone call. And Hammer was on the phone. He's like talking to him. They're like, yo, yo, stall him out. Stall him out. Stall him out. Stall him out. So we didn't know what was going on. Hammer like, hey, hey get everybody together. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll right now. We got we to roll. So everybody jumped up, you know, ran downstairs, got in the cars and whatever. We rolled out back over to Hollywood. We pull up at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle right there off of Vine in uh, North Hollywood. Right? Off of Hollywood. I, I think it was on Vine Street. Yeah. Close to that. So we get out, and I asked one of the bodyguards, like, what's going on? What's, what's going on? He said, yo, we finna, uh, finna holler at Cube. I said, Cube? Ice Cube? They like, yeah. So um, maybe about two, two minutes later, our person who told us he was in there, he came out like he'd come. And um, Hammond and we was all standing out there, and Cube came outside with bags and handed the food. So he stepped out, he looked around, like, well, he looked crazy, like he was scared. Dude was scared. He like, man, what, what's going on? So Hammond stepped out, like, what's up, Cube? He said, hey, what's up, Hammer? What's, what's going on? He said, yeah, I come to holler at you, uh, player, about the video you did, but, you know, about, about, about tying me up and everything and duct tape me and throwing me in the trunk and drive me around or whatever. Man, that ain't cool. Cube was like, Hammer, man, hey, man, hey, man, it's just it's just a video, bro. I mean, I don't really mean it like that, man. Hammer like, yo, man, that ain't cool, bro. He said, look, yeah, I'm out here trying to break barriers and do things for us as brothers, man, trying to make it better for us out here in his music game, and you up here dissing me, tell my throw him in the trunk or whatever. He said, man, I'm telling you, I ain't going for it, bro. He said, don't let it happen again. He said, no, sir, it would not happen again. I know y'all saw the YouTube with Red Man talking about Hammer don't play. I don't know why people thought Hammer was soft or whatever. Hammer, I saw it myself several times. Hammer was never punk. East Oakland didn't play. Oaktown, now I know about all the gangsters in LA because all my cousins was Crips. You know, and they still are, some of them still are to this day. So I'm knowing the difference in the Bay Area, how the Ye get down, and how L.A. get down. They're totally different. But Hammond and Play, man, and um, he checked Cube. And this is the crazy part at the end. <laughs> we got to walk over him and say, all right, man, I'm gone. But, uh, hey, don't let it happen again, right? Q said, no, sir. It will, it will not happen again, Hammond. Thank you. So he's walking off. When the bodyguard started laughing, and I asked him, what are you laughing at, man? He said, look at Q pants. Look at his pants. Q has some shorts on. Cube peed on itself. <laughs> it wasn't no water. <laughs> Dude, that's scared, man. He had peed on himself. So just to let you know, man, Hammer ain't never been no punk. He was always about his business. And we always, whoever got out of line, Hammer stepped to him and let him know how he felt about it. Believe that. You hear me? That's another one of them crazy MC Hammer stories, man. All right. From yours truly, Benito, I am <laughs> the teddy bear of Southern Soul. Holla at your boy.